What is up, YouTube? It's been a good minute since I've uploaded dang video. I've been getting a lot of hate in my damn videos lately. I'm not, I haven't even been active, and people are still commenting on my damn videos. Anyways, I want to know what's so bad about me dipping. Everyone seems to have a dang problem with it. Oh yeah, last time y'all saw my hair, it was like red or purple, some some type of color. It was supposed to be purple, but it looked more red. But now, it's turning freaking pink. And I'm, uh, I'm gonna go ahead and dye it back to black, and I ain't never touch my hair again. Because dyeing my hair is not something a man's supposed to do. Anyways... I just got finished replacing my carpet. Well, not me. My, my pa did. My old man did. I sat back and watched. But, uh, anyways, no, I've been, I've been pretty busy lately. I ain't had time to upload a dang video. And when I upload this one, I'm probably just going to have, like, no thumbnail on it. It's probably just going to be plain as freaking tits because I just don't feel like I don't have the time to sit here and mess around with all this crap right now I've been so busy with school I've been going to school six days of a week and I have five classes a week instead of four and I only get one day one day off and that's tomorrow mother trucking Sunday now oh uh, if y'all like, I can start uploading again. Uh, but y'all are going to have to give me some dang topics and stuff like that. Because, you know, someone someone takes a break off of something, they start losing experience. I've lost experience. I'm not so good at this dang video making thing no more. <clears throat> but let me tell y'all what I've been doing. What's kept me so busy? Well, I can tell you, school has kept me busy. I'm trying to haul ass to graduate this year so I can get the hell out of here. I ain't trying to stay in North Carolina no longer than I have to. And, uh, well, I'll be leaving all my folk here. Uh, all my boys, all my, all my sisters and stuff, you know. My, my brothers and sisters I've made here. Uh, I'll be leaving a lot of stuff behind when I leave, and that that's gonna be that's gonna be a struggle. But you know, you gotta leave, find yourself, and return. It's called the prodigal son. School's been keeping me busy. Driving's been keeping me busy. I gotta. I could have got my driver's license. <clears throat> I don't know why I didn't. I just got my permit. Now what's gonna happen? Cause you know, when I went in to get my driver's license, or my permit, they asked me if I wanna take my driver's license. I said no. And well, the reason of that was because I was not experienced on the road. Like I could drive, yeah, I could drive, but I didn't know all this fancy dancy stuff like a, a three point turn or a freaking what's that, what's a thing called? Uh, Shoot, I just don't know when to go at a stop sign. I mean, I know when no one's there, you can go. I just didn't know that when you sit there and you stop, you gotta look both ways, and if the car is in front of you going straight, you can go straight. I just thought that was like, you just had to stop and they go straight. I didn't know you had to sit here and wait to see which way they're turning. <clears throat> but there's a lot of stuff I didn't know. Plus, when I first started driving, I'd always, uh, the brake, I wasn't used to the brake, so every time I'd step on the brake, I wouldn't be stepping on it hard enough, so by the time I got to the stop sign, I was stopping in the middle of the dang intersection, and that wasn't good, so I'm glad I didn't take my driver's test, because I would have failed it, uh, but I'm working hard to get my stuff up, and then I'm gonna go get my driver's license, hopefully soon, and, uh, after that, the world's in trouble. Oh yeah. 
copes on the roads. Uh, shoot. And then welding. Welding's kept me busy too, bro. I go to welding with cam on. <coughs> I come out with holes all over myself. Cause I guess camo and welding don't go together. That's uh, this this big jacket right here that I usually wear on my Regis. This big camo one. It's still good. Like, I mean, it has a it has burn stains, but that's what a jacket's for. Now my hoodie that I wear on my Regis, that has holes all over it. I'm not even gonna. It's in the wash or something. Cause this week I sat here. I had a bottle. Well, I don't have a bottle right now. Uh. But I had a bottle and I had a cap in my hand. I was holding the bottle right here, keep pressing up against the cap to keep it in my hand. And I forgot the cap wasn't on my bottle. So when I went to go stick it in my hoodie, it spilled all over inside my hoodie. Dip, spit, dip and spit all inside my hoodie. Just puddled up. And I stuck my hand there. I was like, oh, I pulled my bottle. I'm like, damn. So I look inside. There's this big puddle. I'm like, oh, hell. Let it sit for six hours because I, I couldn't throw it in the wash. I was at school or I was in the shop, <clears throat> and so uh, six hours went by with it in my jacket. I opened up my bag, it smells like shit. It smells like a dog just came by, took a deuce, and left. Bro, I didn't know what that was. I started pulling everything out of my bag I was looking for. I was like, What is this smell? I grabbed the hoodie, I put it up to my nose. I was like, Whoa. Bro, it stunk. You don't understand how bad it smells until you, you leave it in there for a good hour or so. But it smelled horrific, dude. Like, ugh. But, uh, it smelled like I stuck my nose in a pile of dog shit. Uh, but no, I, I ain't been up on lately. And here lately, I've been getting a lot of hate, hate comments on my dang vidges. Uh, don't know which ones. I know there's quite a few, and I just eventually stopped replying. Uh, I just ain't got time to deal with all this nonsense, especially when all of them are adults. Like, come on now, if you're an adult, why are you going to come over here, comment on, well, at the time I was, I was a young adult, why are you going to come over here comment on one of my videos being like, oh, you're being quiet because you don't want your parents to fucking hear you? Well, no shit. I already said that in one of my er, previous videos. If you were smart, you would have watched all my videos and used all that information against me. But no, you just want to comment any fucking stupid thing you want. <clears throat> but I mean, that's cool. Make stupid ass comments, especially as an adult. Because <clears throat> adults get me, dude. Today, adults are fucking retarded. They're going to come and they're going to pick on any little person they can because they can. And they're going to get away with it because we just don't want to hear their shit. So we're just going to let them keep doing them. I me, mean, I'm going to let them keep doing them because if that's who they are, they can go ahead and show their immaturity to everyone. Uh, so <clears throat> I was at the movies earlier today and there's two guys in a Jeep. They drove by. I put my hand up, I said, and he said, I said, what the, come on now, dude, I was just saying, hey, he just drove right by, I was like, dude, adults are fucking dicks nowadays, like, you can be as nice as you want to, we were in Dollar General the other day, and this old lady, old, old lady, uh, walked in Dollar General, she got a bag of charcoal, and she's sitting there, waiting for them to ring it up, and they're just doing their job, man, she was looking for the barcode to scan it, and she was like, there's no barcode, code, so they talked for like two minutes trying to figure out where the barcode was, and how much it was, and all that, and all the lady's like, you know, fine, I'll just take both the bags, she walked back, and the lady's like, no, no, we can get it for you, she's like, no, because by the time I go get that bag, you wouldn't even moved yet, bro, I was like, bro, <laughs> I was so mad, I was ready to say something, but I didn't because I respect my adults, my elders. And, uh, well, I just don't think it's right for you to sit here and criticize someone. Or, uh, get mad at someone because life's not going your way. It's not our fault <coughs> that you didn't live the life you wanted to live. Or you choose your life. If you got a job that makes you unhappy, don't take it out on other people in the store over a bag of charcoal.
it's just not right. The people are just trying to do their job, man. If I was in that, if I was that lady, I would have, I would have, you know, here, take your freaking bag, take it back to the fucking rack you got it on, and go ahead and put it back and go visit a different store. It's just nonsense. If I was, let's say, uh, let's say I was working at Taco Bell, right, and the food wasn't coming up fast enough. I'd understand the food's not coming up fast enough, and I'd apologize. I'd be like, here, you want something free? And if they said, yeah, I'd be like, all right, here you go, all right? <clears throat> and, well, <clears throat> if they were rude about it, it was like, no, I want I want a refund, I want duh, 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 and all this other crap. Oh, heck no. All right, you can get a refund, but don't be disrespectful about it, all right? We're just trying to do our job. We're trying to make a living just like y'all are. And y'all are over here going to harass us and get mad and angry because life's not going your way. <clears throat> not our damn problem, bro. I'm sorry. It's not our problem. Uh, adults just need to grow up. Because some of them are sitting here thinking that we're stupid and young. Well, yeah, we're stupid and young, but at least we grow up to fix our mistakes and crap. Y'all are just being assholes nowadays. <clears throat> now I'm glad all this political crap is over about Trump and all that. I mean, there's still some, but it's not as bad as it used to be. It's been, oh, I hate Trump. Hillary should have been president. Or, I hate both of them. We should have just not had a fucking president. Well, you know what? That's fucking great. But, uh, that's the end of my video. I'm out.